Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a makeup look with some of the makeup I've recently just bought and I really hope you enjoy. First of all I'm sticking some MAC Prep and, Prec, Prec and Prime. I'm sticking some MAC Prep and Prime on my eyes. I'll actually all of my face. Here we go, what's in the shape of a heart? We'll get that all over. We're going to get some foundation on. I'm going to try a different foundation today because I want a warmer tone. And then we're going to be doing on top of that, we'll be going in with a bit of Smashbox. And I'm going to try the Cheek Heat Out by Maybelline. I can't wait. Um, really, really can't wait. And if I do end up, I'll save up a little bit of money and try the Fenty ones. Or the Glossier looks good as well. There's a couple of other cheek ones. I can't remember. Elf, Elf, Eyes, Lip, Face. They've done a palette. And Clara had her hands on it in TK Maxx the other day, but she didn't get it. She got... Um, she actually got the Kiko sticks and she bought the same one as me. So I'm going to be using now Smashbox Foundation. This is oil free, number 15. It's just 15. Hang on. 215 Studio Skin. Let's have a see what this is like if it comes out. Oh, it's coming out slow though. Got me real technique sponge and off we go. I just like to give it a good. Oh, I like that. Oh, guess what happened to me today? I was at Asda and I was getting some alcohol and I got ID'd. <laughs> so good job I had Martin with us. He's laughing. He's laughing his head off. He said to us, she's nearly 40, you know. She's nearly 40. It was a massive compliment to be ID'd for alcohol. Really huge compliment. Getting hungry now. We'll have for dinner soon. So I just wanted to I don't usually wear this colour, but I get on really fast. And then keep the time down fires. That looks like a good base. It's going on all right. I do love me Milani. And there's a Maybelline soft matte mousse, I think it is, or whipped mousse or something like that. I really love better than a lot of them. This is actually stinging my face. But I don't know if it's this or the MAC. There's something having a bit of a sting down there. Hmm. Oh, odd. Wonder what it is. See, I've got red cheeks already. I haven't even done anything. That's the sting. Hot, hot, hot. Get that on anyway, because we've got to get right in there. I'm going to be doing a quick eye look. I've decided something nice and quick that you can copy easy peasy if you want to use it for work. I love doing quick ones for work because sometimes you just haven't got the time and a lot of the time on the morning now I'm busy replying to a lot of years and I don't have time to do my makeup fast or do walking and everything so I've been thinking of different ways to do quick looks instead of they don't have to be intricate do they? No, they don't have to be intricate. So that's my foundation on. It is a good coverage however, hmm, a bit red here. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm probably going to have to go in with a bit of the Milani. Just on top of. Just to get rid of that. There we go. Look at that. It just gets rid of it straight away. Should have put a bit of concealer on. I know. But it's in the, it's in the drawer behind. Doesn't it? it takes time. This is just to get this video quick for you. There we go. Hmm. There. Lovely. That's better. So, got the foundation on. Now we're going to put the eyes on. And I'm deciding I'm going to go in with the beige. I think it's beige, number seven. And it's Kiko. Kiko eyeshadow stick. Lovely. It says eight hours, no transfer. And I think I agree with that, actually. Because when I've gone to work in it, it has not transferred in the slightest. But what I should have done first, actually, is I want a brown background... We use the tatty palette. We use the tatty palette. I want a brown background before I go any further. If I can get this out of the box. Right. I'm going to go in with a big, yeah. We'll go in with a nice soft brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to go in with Soothe, the matte one, the bottom. Just to get that in. Oh, it's very, very pigmented. It's a really nice palette, this. I love it gonna go in over the back just to give a background color 
on top. So when that base sits on top of it, really, really nice. Keeping the time down as well because we don't need to be on this for long. It's not a massive blendy job. Not this one. But it's going to be beautiful. Well, hopefully. Hopefully it is. Go right up into this area here. And then leave a little gap there for highlight. Really like that. I'm going to go and do the same on the other side. This is where it gets hard because it's dark over here. So I'm going to have to just play it by ear and hope that it matches. I need, I've got like a lighty thing over there. I'm going to try and get another one over there. Like a couple of light boxes or something. Got to. Got to. But as long as I go up and up and up and then get right in there. Leave enough on the outer bit for some highlight. Should be fine. Right. Yeah, I had to laugh. There's a calendar on the dog chew pack saying that you can not forget to feed your dog the dog chew by ticking off the calendar. <clears throat> and I said to Martin, there's no way on earth these two would let you forget because once I come in the house at night after work, the drag is up the stairs to the box, the special box. And if I go to the loo, I leave the door open if it's just me in the house and the pair of them sit at the bottom of the stairs looking at me and staring up the stairs at the box because it's been moved upstairs to the landing now. And they'll go flying up the stairs and spin like mad. And they don't even know. They could literally fall down the stairs so that nut does. So the, these are the kind of dogs, the Pomeranians, which they would literally just jump off a cliff following something or run into traffic. They're nut does. They're, they're not very savvy. <laughs> now go back in with a pencil. I'm going to go right across there. Beautiful that, isn't it? Now I'm going to do the same again on the other side. Really beautiful colour this. I'm only going to put a little bit of something over the top of it to make it pop. Probably go back in with this palette, shall we? Yeah, we're going to put a little, oh yeah, little brush. Something I've just washed recently. I've actually got a little brush to play the game here. Now where is it? I want to. Shall we go with that one? That's not mega little, but it'll do. Or will it? No, we'll go with this tiny one, one six six S. I'm gonna go in over the top of what I've done with a little bit of glitter, but not a lot, because I'm gonna be doing some sort of. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that only. That one there. I've already used it. I'm gonna put a little bit on the brush, not much. Just on the middle part, just to highlight hasn't highlighted much but I'm going to make sure I do. You know I might do that with my finger actually. Gonna go in on my finger. There we go. And stick it right on there. Get on there. That's it. We're alive. And go right at there. Ooh, I'm sp shiny. a lot of shine that looks weird because my eyelashes are funny they're all a bit bent right this is something i was going to play with now where have i put it i'm useless ah there it is you ready this is exciting this is revlon so fierce eyeliner what color come on there's got to be a color here i don't know the color but look at the color it's like a plum and it just glides onto the hand like that, okay? It's beautiful. And it is a vinyl eyeliner, so it's definitely for your eyes, because I thought, is that for your lips? It was that good. So I'm gonna just put a bit along here and gonna blend that out. There's just something about this, I thought I have to, it just, oh, it's beautiful. Just gotta get that on there. And I'm gonna put it on the lower lash line as well. It's super fierce. But I want to blend that, so I don't want to put too much, just a minute. Actually, I could have done with putting a bit of that. Um, I'm going to do that, actually. Pull my eyelid down and get some of that brown on. It tickles like hell, but it's good. Oh, it's a good tickle. That's better. Nice. 
place. Now we're going to get that right in there. And just prop our experiment in here. It's good to experiment. I know a couple of years have been experimenting because of us. Thank you. I'm so glad that I'm making you feel like you want to experiment because it's such a good feeling, isn't it? So I'm going to have to put a bit more of that on. So I've got that on like that. We're back in with a tatty palette because I want more of that brown, but we need a smaller brush. So we need a pencil brush for this one. This one here. This is the one we used to soothe underneath. Oh, there, yeah, that's the one. This is beautiful. That is just perfect for what I'm after. Um, there we go. And I probably need to bring that in a bit more. Oh, it's going to fall just a little bit. There we go. So that it's all in. Really, really like this look. Really, really like it actually. And the plums make my eye green eyes stand right out. And this is look amazing. In fact, plum it goes well with so many colors. Really chuffed with that. So that's that. Do the other right now before we go any further. So because I've done it this way, it doesn't matter. I can go back over with the brown. Just make sure I got the right shape here. Because this is where it goes wrong usually for me when I'm trying to match them up. Oh, lovely. And then get onto there. You'll have to tell us whereabouts you are from. Leave a comment for us and let us know what it's like in your stores at the minute. Is it manic? Or is it just here in the UK? I know a lot of them, I know there's lockdown in Italy. Um, loads of people, like my friend in the US, she's in America, uh, sorry, New York. She says she'd not be getting away for a holiday by the looks of it. Shannon was going to come over and surprise her with Oscar so that Martin could see him while he was a baby because he hasn't met him yet. It's so sad. So she, she was bought tickets, spent a fortune and they can't get out. Um, and it's, chances are you're not going to get back in the country the way things are going, so it's just not worth it. But it's so sad. Like, really what's happening is so sad. It would be lovely to have seen them and all. Because we haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen them. And by the time he comes over, yeah, he's going to be a little toddler. It's just so sad. There's the poop, poop. Mm. So for like years ago, it was me pug snoring. Now it's me window. Someone else mentioned that their windows do the same. It's a funny old noise. Right, so you've got that on. And you know what? I might smoky that out. Found another little brush. This is great for smoky. So this is the Ruby Millie Concealer Brush. It's a six mil. I'm going to just blend that out a bit if I can. Might need to put a bit more on. Oh, no, actually, that's nice. Mm. That they give that a bit of a blend into that. I was going to say into that material, into that eyeshadow pencil. Oh, this is lovely. I love this look. I really do, you know. So love playing around with stuff. And I don't know if I mentioned in the last video or so, but I've got all my drawers organised. So I'm going to start doing looky dips. So basically, we're going to go diving into the drawers. I think it'll work a bit better that way bit more to the bottom I love this I'm sure this was off Debs Debs sent me this and I love it so there we go rise are done I'm going to first use these you've never I've never used this before on camera the falsies lash lift Maybelline lovely mascara look I hope it works come on work get up there get right up oh it's working look at that Get right in there. Oh, I'm well impressed. Look at that. Now that is stunning. Stunning. Put the other eye on and I've got some brows to do and then I've got some lips. I've chosen a beautiful lip gloss to go with this look. Look at that. 
It's just lifting them right up. Oh, I've nearly did my brow with that. <laughs> Now I need, hmm, I don't know if I'll get a little, get, hmm, flip that up there. That's it. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. They're up. They're up and at them then. They're lovely. Right, so I'm going to go in with the cheek heat. And this one I'm choosing nude burn for this one because that's not really the right one. That's for something else. This one, it might work. I hope. Failing that, well, you know now shall I, i'm gonna put on my beauty blender only because i'm loving using so hang on i'll make make sure i don't get that on the with me eyeliner so i'm gonna go in with this nude burn do you want it too much i'm gonna ready attack the cheek oh it's a bit watery it's like a gel mm. i'm getting a nice glow there i like that Nice glow. I need a bit more for the other side. Nice and cool because I've still got a bit of water on this here. It's not as thick as the MAC one. It's quite water and gel like. But if you're wanting a softer approach, do you know what I mean? It is nice. And I will tell you how it goes after a couple of hours. Not that I'm going anywhere. I'm just going to sit with Martin watching telly and he's going to cook dinner and I'm going to have a little glass of wine. So you've got to look pretty to have a glass of wine, haven't you? So I'll shut that over. That's really nice. Oh, I love, I love. Now, right, okay, where are we? We're going to do some lips now. Ta da! I've picked this Bare Minerals Heartbreaker. Really, really, really lovely colour. And it's going straight in for the kill. I was going to use something else, but I can't, I can't, I can't remember where it was. It smells amazing. I guess on the teeth. Yes, my teeth. People keep saying, well, not people. But I'm sure a lot of us do wonder. When I stopped smoking, my gums changed and I started getting gaps at the side. So there's not really much I can do about it. I'm going to go to the dentist. I'm going to see if I can get them, um, see if there's some sort of um, brace that can make us. Because the River Edge dentist did an amazing job for me veneers years ago. And they were absolutely fine and all. I've never had any problem at all with them. They were abs they were great. And a lot of people say that the veneers pull off and kick off and all. I never had any bother at all. Yeah, I like that colour lipstick with that. But, unfortunately, honestly, as soon as I stopped smoking, it was literally within the next six months, me gums, would, me gums changed. And like everyone said, it's probably just because you're getting blood supply to them because you don't want any smoke. It's shotgun. I wish I'd packed in years ago. But anyway, I did it. Um... And because of that, my gums have changed, and so I've got gaps. And it's and it's very hard to like. I'm I'm starting. It's mad because before I ever got my teeth done, I used to I used to laugh but hide my mouth. And I'm very aware of my teeth again now. We're being on here and getting comments, which is fine. Everyone's gonna think you can't stop people from having an opinion, but it's it's i'm becoming aware of my teeth again so it's, it's a, i'm a bit i'm a bit sad about that but at the same time there's nothing i can do about it and because we're, we're in a i've had my hair up in a bunch i love the fact it goes like that so there we go but because we're in this society now where we have to look perfect we've got filters and all that i do feel a little bit inferior about them i've got to be honest because they're, they're not the best looking teeth but uh, it's all I've got at the minute and I'm going to try and get some braces of some sort. I'm going to try and some sort something out for my own self because it's making me feel bad when I'm smiling. And I don't want to do that because I'm a proper little smiler. I'll just put that up. Yeah. So I'm going to get my brows on. I'm using stud. I love stud. Actually, that's too thin. I need a big one. Do I? Hmm. I did have, oh, stud will do. Right, come on, I'm gonna have a bit of stud. 
want them really dark and and they're glossy still because they've got that them straw not straw cream on they've got the mac prep and prime still on them so they're really glossy i do love my eyebrows except the sides a bit you know it needs a bit of help because i lie on this side you see I do love my eyebrows and feel very lucky that they're full because people are paying to get them tattooed on um, and I, I don't have to and people are paying to get lashes and I don't have to so I feel very very lucky but then yeah I've got teeth that I'm not happy about so I kind of have it all but as long as you're happy about something and doing makeup does make us feel better because it's like you just I don't know it makes you feel good so there's my little hair bit it smells all lush it's got um, what do I use Pan 10, clean and fresh. It's the two in one, there's bits and bobs and it's like found, foundation, conditioner, shampoo and all that type of stuff. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this makeup look. I absolutely love the eyes. Honestly, give it a go using different color eyeliner and it just makes something totally different of your eyes. I probably could have done a bit of highlight there and maybe a bit of highlight on the cheek as well, but I'm happy with it as it is and I feel like I'm not overdone. I'd go to work like this. Right, I really, really hope you've enjoyed. Subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, like the video because then I get seen and then YouTube will actually know that I'm there and because I think they've all forgot about us. So all you can do to help is massively appreciated. And oh, and I'll be doing lives every other Sunday. So I hope you look forward to them as well. I'll see you on a bit. Zoom, zoom. <laughs>